Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 10th house posited in the 5th house in a natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, the 10th house governs uh, authority, uh, figure, such as a parent, dominant parent, usually the father, career, uh, livelihood, the ambitions of the person. It's uh, connected uh, sometimes with government, you can look at um, maybe government views. Uh, tenth house, uh, also corrected, connected with, I'm sorry, notoriety, status, recognition, standing in the community. Look at the fifth house, is connected with fun, enjoyment, amusement, the children, hobbies, uh, creative endeavors, uh, gambling, and speculation. Well, anyway, people, let me get started. The, one of the first things I'll look at is that the 10th house being the house of the career and livelihood. Uh, this person may be interested or like the career might involve some form of gambling or speculation such as working in a casino. This could be somebody that has a career that is strongly connected with one of their hobbies, something that they were interested in as a child and perhaps carry through into their adulthood. Uh, this could be somebody whose uh, whose career might involve sports of some kind, might involve something where um, the audacious side comes out, their daring side comes out, such as like a stuntsman or, or something in an, uh, kind of an extreme ex example, but still applies. I believe their career maybe in, involves um, reconciling people in romantic uh, uh, situations such as perhaps even like a, a marriage counselor or something where it's something where their creativity comes out in full throttle. This could be something where this person receives some kind of notoriety recognition for some kind of creative endeavor, uh, could be involved uh, with acting of some kind or the arts. Uh, look at this, uh, this placement. Uh, this could be a position where perhaps this person works, uh, has a career that involves children, such as like uh, monitoring them, uh, like could even be like a teacher or somebody that works in a daycare center. Uh, perhaps uh, this person's career impacts the relationship uh, with their child or, or, ch or the children that this person has. Uh, this person's, uh, I guess you could say, they're perhaps the authoritative nature or the domineering side may come out in the relationship with their children. This could be a placement where we look at the, the tenth house is connected with, uh, with perhaps uh, when we look at it, you know, it could be connected with government, uh, perhaps interest to some degree, politics. This could be something that this person enjoys uh, to some degree, perhaps their political views uh, might impact the relationship they have with romantic partner. Or a their career choice or aims objectives may be strongly tied in, uh, might come out in their uh, relationship with a romantic partner. Perhaps this person's life, for example, that revolves around their career uh, if it dominates, if their career dominates their life, it could impact the romantic relationships that they have in, an, in, in a negative manner, might be to the detriment, or it could be just the opposite. Maybe their career objectives actually somehow enhance the relationship uh, with, uh, with their romantic partner. Maybe they, maybe they even work with, uh, with this person at some point in time, or the romantic partner finds likes what this person does for um, their career choice or what have you and it maybe that it, it augments the relationship with him or her. Uh, this could be uh, something where we look at the the tenth house and it's connected perhaps with supervisors and people that are in um, authority of some kind and this could be possible that maybe um, an authority figure of uh, some kind may somehow maybe impact this person's um, enjoyment in their life. Perhaps the dominant parent 
plays a role in this person's hobbies or creative endeavors. Um, on the negative side, if we see that the planet has predominantly negative aspects to it, maybe this, this parent might impact this person's fun and enjoyment on a negative side and maybe detract from uh, the fun-loving you know, pleasures that this person uh, may want to have. This could be a, a position where this person receives some kind of notoriety or recognition uh, for, for things they simply uh, like to do. Um, they could be for some, I guess you could say, like a creative endeavor uh, or hobby of some kind. Uh, look at this as uh, perhaps the, the career choice might be something which involves, I guess you could say, some kind of uh, some kind of risk taking on um, some way, shape, or form. Their career might be something that might be, you know, something could be connected. Like for example, as like a, a stockbroker, something uh, a career that maybe just doesn't have um, maybe even a definitive, I guess you could say, salary. Somebody that gets paid on the job and where maybe the income fluctuates depending on uh, work of, that's available or not and it's not like a necessarily a salary position or, or paid by the hour position. Well anyway people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the 10th house posited in the 5th house in a natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 10th house in the 6th house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.